there is a, a system that keeps this planet going, and in many ways human beings are doing their best to unsettle it, except for those that know better. And I don't mean because they're smarter or they're more technologically educated, but because they know the very same thing that keeps this universe and this planet balanced is what is designed to keep them balanced, and we are connected to that very thing every moment we breathe. We are creators in that mode. And I know at times we, in this gathering, we were talking about the masculine aspects and the feminine aspects, and as a woman, obviously, I sometimes feel the feminine aspects or I'm in touch with them more. But I need them both in order to create. How about you? I need them both. And some of the things I need are silence. Some of the things I need are action. Some of the things I need are heart space, creative thinking, a mission, a vision, courage, passion. Now try and bring all that into a coordinated place. And my experience of many years being here and having lived the life I have is I can't do it at a plane other than up here. Because this is where it all shifts dramatically and exponentially. And I'm not talking about a foot above my head. I'm talking about in my consciousness where it is formless and coming into form. Where it is potential coming into manifestation. We all reside in both. We are manifesting, but we are in the potential all the time. I've had what some people could say, uh, call visitations, voices, information come to me from just that place, just outside that which is already in form. The magic of, it doesn't come in words like, did you ever think of this, Jane? What were you, you know, or what are you thinking? This isn't good enough. It doesn't come from that place. It comes from that place of being healed by love. And being healed could indicate that I was wounded or ill, but I'll, so I'll change it. Have you ever been grown into something more by love? One of the things that I, I know in my life experience is that while we are reaching for this evolution of a new humanity, in my cells is also the memory of what's possible and what is in the actual design itself. So some of it is there and some of it is in the very memory of the cell because the cell is designed by the same innate, powerful reality that is taking us wherever we're going to go. And that's a place I meet people. You know, you know, you know, we all know something. Because we're still alive, it's possible. And when we hold the world that we're responsible for by loving it, it makes it a whole lot easier to see that we're holding a child whose nervous system is being transformed by us, whether you're a man or a woman, the mother of what's being born. Because you get to be the midwife, the mother, and the child participating at many dimensions of this birth. I say glory to that which is creating it all. It's not just me. There's something much larger than me. And I give great glory and appreciation for it because it is, puts me on my knees in humility and puts me on the, the highest horse in my courage and pride and responsibility to deliver the goods.